cut off the top of the studs. Let me show you what that is. Right here are the brake hanger studs. And I cleaned those up after coming down, uh, I dropped down uh, an inch and three quarter uh, to get those. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm, I think, I believe that's what the, what I came down. I might have to double check that. But I come down and clean those both off. Now with the fly cutter, I'm hoping to come between here, right here, and come right down the center here. And face both of those off, which then should give me one inch. Let's measure across there. There's what we have machined. Measure across. Right on the money. Great. Okay, on the bolster. I have this one set up to cut right now, but this is the one I cut previous. Uh, we're taking this down to two inches. Uh, the casting, it's about a two and a quarter. So it's a good bit to good bit to take off uh, <clears throat> the casting. The gates were on the on uh, the uh, on this part. It's probably why it's a little thicker. So we're gonna take this down here again, same as before. I have the uh, the uh, fly cutter reference from the the deck. So I know where I am in proportion to the, or in relation to uh, the deck, another inch up on my uh, one, two, three block. So I'll be able to take, uh, take cuts off here, I'll take cuts off of both. I, what I do, I take here, then I flip it, move down again, I take another set of cuts, and then I, uh, I measure and I get it back to, to try to center over the, bol over the bolster how much I need to go. My final cuts coming in, the, uh, splitting the difference over the two, uh, taking it down the two inches across the across the surface. Seemed to work out pretty well uh, when I did this. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, and <clears throat> see, I have this clamped uh, angle. Play. That seems to work okay. Uh, I have a uh, clamped up. It seems to hold a uh, little bit of vibration, but nothing, not, not too bad actually. The surface, the cut is nice, so it, it must be decent to uh, set up. So we're going to continue on with I'm trying to get as much of the fly cutter uh, work done as I can. And then later on I'll be coming back. And I think I might use the same setup. I'm going to end mill out the, the, the groove that's in here uh, for, the, for the bolster. So I have to, you know, lay, that's why I have this blued. I'll have to lay this out. And I'm going to come in and cut, the, cut that out of there. Um, I believe I, well it's an inch. I have, the, I have the bolster cut out an inch, uh, so I'm going to take the excess. I figure it would be easier to adjust on this uh, than on the, on the side frames. So that, that's the plan. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cut up. Okay, the cuts are completed. That's uh, down to two, um, two inches across the flats. Works out pretty well. These chips are... Wow, I don't know. I, I like this machine. It seems to work pretty well. I don't know what's good, what's bad. I worked with other other machine, other shop we had, and um, I don't know. I can take 50 on this. I have it set at 1150, the speed, and uh, it just I can just spin the, the the feed wheel right into it. Just takes it takes it nice. Doesn't have any problems. So that might be nothing. I mean, maybe there's guys out there that can fly cut you know a quarter inch at a time. I don't know, but. On this one, it seems to, that's enough for me. And I, pretty deep, light tool bit in there, actually. So I'm pretty happy with that. It moves along pretty well. It used to be, the other machine, little machine I used to work on, I take about 10 thousandths a pass with a fly cutter, and that was about all that machine could take. So for me, this is great. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we'll pull this out of here, blow it up, and we'll get right ready for the next step. Okay, we have the bolster. And I was concerned about getting the hole right in the center. So being that the casting is clean all in that area, I uh, made a jig. Uh, just put a bushing on the back here, turned a piece of uh, three-quarter down, and uh, just tack welded it to this plate, and then bored through a quarter inch, 
and then just machined it out until it fit right on on there. So what I can do is I can put that on there, take two machinist clamps, and set it up to drill. Okay, on the uh, bolster, truck bolster, I got the other one here. Okay, what we have is uh, we, we, we found our center based on the jig that we used off the outside here, and we drilled through, just drilled through quarter inch just to give me a, a start, something I can use later on. Um, but I found that the casting has a, uh, it's uneven on the top, of course, so uh, we're going to just machine that flat based off of our reference points that we have here. I think it's a, a decent way to do that. Um, being that we're still referenced, I haven't moved anything, I have still have my fly cutter set up. Uh, we're uh, two inches. Um, this actually is two and an eighth. Take off an inch uh, for the block. So it's an inch and eighth from that surface. So that as, as a reference surface. Yeah, that, that'll work. So it's good. I mean for future machining. It's a decent part of the casting. So I think that's what we'll what we'll continue to do. So now let's go ahead and throw in the next one and I just take that off. And we end up with a nice, you know, nice clean surface. Okay, I'm working on the uh, bolster. And uh, let me just go ahead and grab this uh, the other one here. Okay, what I'm doing here, you'll notice I changed my setup a little bit too. Went with a uh, little bit uh, better uh, angle fixture. Uh, I have the drill bit in here. What I'm doing, I'm coming off the side of the drill bit to find my center. And I'm indicating off of that I put a drill chuck in with the center or with a, uh, I forget what they're called. But I can touch off the side of that. It's 200 thousandths. Move over, then move over the half the distance of the of that quarter inch drill bit, that's giving me my uh, center. I center my table on that, so I come over to here, uh, four and three eighths, um, plus the cutter, and so we're find the center. Uh, my cutter I'm using is a, I just have, happen to have in here, is a, a, a T-slot cutter I had, and uh, it's close to an inch, but not quite, so what I'm doing is I'm going, going on center of that, uh, and after it's about, uh, uh, 30,000 short so I just take um, 15 off just move the table one way 15 the other way 15 and uh, clean up the slot and it gives me a nice uh, gives me a nice cut and uh, it's an inch uh, plus I think I have plus five thousandths I think for for a little bit of play and uh, so I'm just touching off the surface then I'm, I'm going in the, the distance in is uh, I have to check my what I, what I ended up going with uh, 530 seconds. So I'm going in 530. Excuse, apologize for the sniffling. I have a cold. Uh, going in 530 seconds. Uh, should be good. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit this other side here. And then I'm going to uh, flip it over and do the same thing. I'm hoping I, you know, I mean it should be as, as probably as accurate as I could get here coming off of the center. I can't really measure off of anything else because the rest of the casting, there's really nothing that's a good reference point otherwise. Okay. Okay, we're on the side frames and on the uh, bolster guides. I'm not really sure what they're, what they're called, but I'm going to call them that. Uh, this is one that I have completed. And I don't know if you can see that there, but uh, this is an inch and a half uh, across the flats. So I, <clears throat> I set it up on the milling table. wasn't sure what I was going to go by. I'm just, I'm just actually going to reference off the back side of the casting. Uh, you know, with any kind of lever, the further you're out on it, the more I would say the more accurate or precise uh, level is across here. So these are on all the castings. This is consistent. There's no grinding on it. So I'm going to go by that. And uh, though I'm not really sure. Now that I look at that one, it seems a little odd, but well, that's what we decided to do. So, um, <clears throat> what's going to happen is uh, we clamp it down 
uh, to the table. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up on this one side over here. I have them marked. Uh, basically what I'm doing is I figure if I, you know, the, I, I blued it, I have a, a scribed a line. I'm going to come up to the scribe line. I have the table set. I do have a stop on here and it really gets me close <coughs> uh, so for repeatability off the end. <coughs> so I'm going to take a, a cut on this. I, I'll take the cut. I don't have a long reach end mill, so I just make multiple passes until I get the full inch surface uh, milled away. And then I go across here, inch and three quarter. I said inch and half early. Inch and three quarter over to here and then take this side down. Uh, I've done two already and it, it seems to work okay. Uh, dress them up with the file and off we go. Okay, this is what I have done so far. I have the have it together. It seems pretty decent. Um, got this one on backwards. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Decent amount. Of, I mean, they they rock the way they're supposed to that way. Um, I don't know. Uh, should work. Okay, next move is boring. Got to, uh, of course, I'm going to still drill these out for the brakes, uh, but I need to um, bore for the bearings. I was looking, I have a whole bunch of these. Uh, got a whole pile of these. I'm not sure where they came from. Uh, a little big. I'm not sure if that's going to work. But I'm thinking, yeah, right near the end there, not too much meat, but when you get in, down in there, there might be enough. What I like about it is. Uh, inch and an eighth uh, with a let's see here yeah inch and an eighth um, half inch bore so I don't know they're not metric which I'm surprised so I don't know where, where those came from I'm not really sure but I, I probably have enough to do at least this set of trucks and maybe another set so that's where I'm at right now um, Let's see, take a look at how things are going to set up here. We got this. Let's see, we got one of these here. Kind of, kind of finished. I guess that's the way that works. That goes in there like so. And then the spring goes in there. Now I'm thinking I'm going to have to, have to under here, I'm going to have to drill. I have to drill in there a little bit for make some pockets because the springs really they don't have that much room in there. So I gotta figure that out. Uh, you know, they, they do compress, but there won't be that much room. So may have to look at how they're how they're, these are done too. Might have to uh, maybe take a two flute mill. I may just hit all those out of there. I don't know. I have to look at that too. So. That's the next move.